I'm telling you, I bet, I bet when it's blending it, it's shooting it up there, and then it's coming out the bottom. Why don't you watch what you're doing? You're supposed to be my videographer. Hey, I'm just giving you advice. y'all I wanted to um, let y'all in on a little project that I'm doing today I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna turn out but I wanted to share with y'all what I'm doing and I want to make some whipped body butter so I'm using coconut oil and shea butter and I've used I have put a fourth of a cup in my pot and I started melting it so I'm gonna move this over and let it finish melting and there's I don't have a recipe for this, so I'm just kind of going with it. And then I'll let y'all know how it turns out. So I'm also using my aloe from out in the garden. And just peeling that to put in this little um, mixer. And I'm going to just pretty much just blend it up once I get it peeled. And to peel it, peel aloe. I just take a knife and come in and cut these sides off, both sides, and I'm going to take the top section off just by sliding this right under the skin, and then I'm just going to bring it all the way down under that skin. Once I get that off, I'm just going to take it and cut me a little section and work it down in there. And what I want, when my, when my coconut oil and my shea butter gets melted down good, I'm going to move it off and start letting it, um, actually I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and start letting it thicken up some. And once it does that, I'm going to pull it back out and I'm going to add my aloe in there. And this will be pretty much like a pureed scent. Like it's going to be pretty pureed. And I'm also going to uh, add some lavender in there. And then I'm going to get a mixer and whip it. Basically, you're going to be whipping your mixture. And um, it, it kind of puts air in it. I've made whipped body butter before. But I've never added the aloe, um, so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. And um, I'm curious to know how it's going to turn out. Last time, I like I said, I did not have the aloe, and I didn't make it anymore. I pretty much, when I use lotion, I either just use it straight out of the container um, or coconut oil just straight out of the container. Um, but I stopped making this because really I didn't see any difference in the consistency as far as what I already had. But I don't like the fact that I can't use it during the day because it's so greasy. So I stopped making it and just started using it right out of the container. But I'm hoping that this aloe is going to maybe help with some of the greasiness of it. All right, so I'm on my last piece of aloe. I'm going to finish scraping this out, and then we're going to get this pureed up. And I'm by no means an aloe expert, but this stuff is super slimy. It is kind of hard to do, so when you decide if you ever want to use aloe, just be very careful because it is very slimy, um, and it's very hard to deal with. Um, so I'm going to get this last piece out and we're going to get it um, going. And it's a lot of work for a little bit. There's just a little bit in there. But I don't want to put too much just because I'm not really going by a recipe. I'm just kind of playing with this. Um, it's a new project for me. I kind of want to see what it turns out like and if I really like it. And So I'm just really just kind of experimenting. I mean, that's fun to do. I love to go by the book a lot when I make all my soaps. All that's, that's pretty gross. 
all that's fun to do but sometimes it's fun to just experiment and try different things and see how it turns out so today is my new project uh, of experimenting we're just gonna see what happens definitely don't want chunks of it in my I definitely don't want chunks I want it to be liquid like that but I don't I mean, think do that this is probably enough to to get the, all of those chunks so it's sitting so low in there it's not really popping up. So let's let's let it do like that for a few minutes and maybe after all the torture we'll finally get it. Alright, so let's check it. Hmm, that's pretty good. I'm gonna do it for just a little bit longer, but that's pretty good. Alright, so let's let's go over back over here with this. But once I get it whipped with a, like a true blender, okay. So let's add the lavender, and I'm going to pour this up and get it in the in the refrigerator, and then we'll turn uh, the camera back on and we will uh, whip it with our mixer. actually just going to leave it in the bowl. I'm going to put the whole bowl in the refrigerator. Our yummy blueberries that we picked today off our blueberry tree. Those are a treat. Okay, so we're going to turn the camera back on when we pull it out. Okay, so in the middle of all the chaos that was on the counter a while ago is when I decided Hey, let's try this new project of our whipped body butter. So what I was making, and I'm going to do a video on this soon so y'all the same type, is homemade sunblock. Now, I've made, started making this last year for our family, and um, I have made some for our customers. It smells really good. You can really smell the cocoa butter in there. So I just poured this up, and it just got, watch out. It just got soft, uh, hard enough to pick up and kind of move around without spilling everywhere. So I just finished these up for my customers and um, wanted to try this new project. So it's now ready. Aiden, if you'll come over here, we're going to go ahead and pull it out. And as you can see, it went from the liquid to the solid form. And this is when you want to wilt body butter. And I like
Okay, so I would say that that's whipped pretty good. So what I want to do, I'm just using my, I'm just using my chia butter container, and I'm going to put this back in here. So there's your whipped body butter, and I use this as lotion. And like I was telling you before, I've made this before, but I never put aloe in there. And um, I stopped making it because it was, when I use it at night, it's kind of greasy. And so to me, that was no different than just using it right out of the container, whether I picked coconut oil or shea butter, whichever I decided to moisturize with. Um, but I did add the lavender. This is nice because I was able to add the lavender and I was able to add the aloe straight from the plant. So this will go in a cool place because it will melt. And I will likely just continue to use this at night because I have a feeling it's going to continue to remain pretty oily. And um, I just don't, I don't use that out during the day. I don't moisturize my face with it and stuff during the day. I just use it at night. Um, but I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to like the aloe in there. Um, so we'll see. Now, I really like um, whipped body butter because it's soft. Um, it's very soft. It's moisturizes your skin really well and makes I have some on my hands and it make, has made my hands super super soft um, like I said earlier it does it is a little greasy so I don't use it during the day I moisturize with it at night but um it has uh, between the shea butter the coconut oil the lavender the aloe all of those have such good um, <laughs> properties benefits for your skin which is another reason I really really like it there's no toxins no chemicals um so it's great for you um pros it's great for you it moisturizes really really well um cons I only use it at night because it is so greasy uh here is our whipped body butter and I'm excited about using it with the lavender and the aloe in it so happy homesteading y'all